Uh, hey, what's up? Jeff, Green Country Custom Baits. Uh, today, we're doing a painting pattern. This is going to be a crawl pattern. Uh, I think you guys will really like this one. This is called the Orange Crawl Splatterback. So a lot of different techniques. Uh, we got the crawl technique that we're going to have to do, some stenciling work. We're going to have some splatterback te techniques uh, toward the end of the video. So uh, make sure you stay to the end. We'll give away all the uh, paint recipes that went into this particular pattern at the end of the video. So hey, without wasting any more time, let's get to it. Let's spray some paint. So our, our bait has been prepped. Uh, this time, a lot of times on this pattern, I, I go ahead and do the full um, lip of the wiggle wart itself, uh, you know, base coated in, in the entire pattern. Uh, but uh, this particular customer wanted a clear lip, so we're gonna start off and uh, go ahead and throw some orange. I'm getting my orange to come out. We're just going to work on covering the entire lure. Yeah, maybe it's spraying better. It's about time to do a cleaning. Make sure you get underneath that exacto blade or knife handle there. So there we get our first layer of paint, which is just a transparent orange. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do two of these. The customer wanted two, so um, I won't. We'll we'll cut this out and show you the next color. Okay, for the second coat or second color, I should say that the whole top of this bait and down right toward the belly is going to be a uh, kind of a, a dark red. And We'll show you the actual color at the end. Go ahead and shoot this one on the camera. It won't take just a second. So again, we're just getting a good coverage over the top half of this bait. If you angle down, then your overspray, it won't get onto the belly. It'll hit right on that lower edge. So the next color that's going to go into this pattern is a uh, a green pumpkin back. So I think this is one thing that really sets this bait off. Is those greens and reds? Heat set that real quick. Usually two coats.
Usually do two coats with the green pumpkin. I'm keeping the airbrush quite a ways from the, I want it to fall just down the sides just a little bit. Okay, so next up we're gonna do some crawl stenciling work. And I, in this particular customer wants the same one uh, that I did in a previous video. So uh, we've got our hand cut stencil we're gonna use just to give us some great detail. We've got our black loaded in our airbrush. I'd kind of like to recut this one. I really like this to be a little bit straighter going up. On this one, let's do this one. How about that? Nah, let's keep them the same. Let's keep it the same. Let's get our little J hook. Keep the airbrush pretty close to work. And that's really the key. Keep your tip dry off. Blow a lot of air. And just follow. So that pretty good, then we're gonna do some we'll flip this over and on this bait our customer wants the nah, let's just go with that one. How about that? And for that, you can use just about anything you want. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. I've got some of these and haven't used them yet. And we're going to use a insane custom wiggle wart stencil. Let's see which one. And then after this, we have one more technique to do, and that is... to do our black splatter. So for our splatter technique, what you want is, and I believe I've showed this in some other videos, but it's been a while. So we're gonna reduce our pressure on that black. We're gonna remove our nozzle cap. We're gonna go down to 10 or less See if we can get that where you can see it. And this is just our stippling technique. By removing the nozzle, you do everything with your airbrush. And the 
lower the pressure, the bigger the droplets. Put some on the side. The higher the pressure, the smaller the dot. So colors into this particular pattern, when of course we had a white base coat, uh, then we, uh, excuse me, that ain't the right one. Then we covered it with uh, just a transparent orange, auto air. Uh, we also used the auto air line of candy, candy apple red. <clears throat> then our, our back color was uh, four drops of leaf green, to two drops of Autoborn Brown, just or a light, any light brown, leaf green and a light brown, four to two, um, depending on how many baits. But that's you know one bait that'll do several. But four to two to get the green pumpkin I used on the back, uh, and then uh, of course just used a transparent black for the cross stripes and the splatter over the back. And there you have it. So. This is the Orange Crawl Splatterback pattern from Green Country Customs. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and hope you, if you did, please smash that like button. It really helps us. Uh, also, consider subscribing if you're into anything uh, that does, has to do with uh, bass fishing, painting crankbaits, making our own stencils, product reviews of different fishing lures and crankbaits, and uh, then definitely consider subscribing. I'd sure appreciate it. And until next Saturday, we'll come at you with a different crawl pattern. See you then.